Hey there, Gemini fans, and welcome to your reading. And today we're going to take a look at your past life and what is your destiny for this lifetime. So we're going to look at both career and love and how your past life affects, uh, affects the, those two things. So if you want to jump into something specific, the timestamp will be below. But if you like this type of content, if it resonates, don't forget to smash like button, to subscribe, and to comment down below. That would really help. Uh, I would really love to hear from you if you want to dive a little deeper uh, into this reading. The link is going to be down below for a proper reading. And whoops. And you can also follow me on Instagram, okay? So let's see here what we have for you. Okay. So I already actually have a message for you, and it's for you right now. Uh, I kind of feel like you may need to slow down a little bit. I feel like you need to stop. Uh, like even before I was pressing record and I was just looking at, out of the window and looking at the sky and I was like, oh wow, so beautiful. It's It, it has a few clouds, but it's like, it's so shiny and bright and I was just like, oh, oh, feels good and it feels calm. And then when I was starting, uh, getting ready to start reading, I was like getting this need of just breathing, of just like... Sitting in silence. I feel like you really do need to meditate um, or just, you know, just create a piece of time where you're just with yourself. If bad, if you can, it would be great if you could do it outside in nature, but it just really, there's this need of like, oh, let me stop a little bit. Okay, so this could be about work. Maybe you're overworking, okay? Maybe you're confused about a situation um, and you need to stop a little bit and you'll get all the answers. Um, cause like I was feeling my head, my head, um, buzzing a little bit, like, ex like, I don't know, just expanding a little bit and feeling like a little bit heavy, you know, it's, I feel like you, you're, you are receiving messages, but because you're so focused on like, oh, let me, maybe hustling a little bit, um, I feel like you're not taking the time to listen to those things. Okay. But let's see where we go with that. So. For the past life, the big theme was relief. I love seeing this 22 over here. And oh, what the frick? What the frick? Bro, we have literally rest for the big theme of this lifetime. Wow. Oh, wow. Damn. I guess our intuition is on point. <laughs> but um, it's so interesting that that showed up. And I really feel that... There was something here that I feel like you never really got to grieve over. And um, I feel like you were a very calm person, but I feel like you were... It's almost like when, you know, you are smiling, but you're actually feel, feeling a lot of pain. I feel like people would see you as, oh, you know, Gemini Cancer totally has their shit together. Gemini Cancer totally got over it. And I don't think you did. Uh, I feel like there was something that was really hurting you. And I really feel like it was a loss of someone. Um, maybe a loss of a parent, a loss of a lover. I don't know, we'll take a look at that. But I feel like you were really grieving over something. And you were always trying to move forward. You were always trying to be the happy one. You were always trying to, okay, let's get up and fight. And I feel like you never really got over that pain. You never really got to find peace and release the baggage. And so that's your big theme for this lifetime is release the, release the baggage. It's also finding the balance between your work life and your personal life about resting, about not being a workaholic, right? Whenever you're confused, take a, a second to just breathe and calm your mind. Uh, I feel like your mind is constantly, especially with that Gemini side, I feel like your mind is constantly buzzing, constantly like, oh, what are you doing? Is, are you sure this is the right thing? Are you doing the right, taking the right action? And like, I feel like you question yourself a lot and you question your life a lot. And it's like, you're never, uh, you never stop. Now, I really feel like you need a nap also, <laughs> but I feel like mainly you need, um, a time for yourself. Okay. You need to create that space in your life. I'm hearing a nap and a vacation. Damn. Someone's working really, really hard. And I also feel like you're pretty intuitive, especially with that cancer side. I feel like you're more intuitive than you tell yourself you are, than you are aware that you are. 
Um, and I feel like you, you actually have a lot that you can take from. Again, I feel like messages are wanting to come through. You need to create the space for those messages to come through, okay? Maybe it could be through intuitive writing. It doesn't have to be like meditation or something. But just create the space for you to be there, okay? Oh, and I never part the deck, but I'm feeling like parting this deck. So, yeah, there's definitely like energy here that needs to be like released and blocked, okay? And you can only do that by allowing yourself to feel those things. Okay. It could also be something from your childhood, something you went through, uh, or something that happened in your life that you never really got over. Maybe you lost someone really young, and similar to, to this here. Or for example, it could have been like, um, not physical loss, but in a way it was. So parents get divorced, or... Um, I don't know, you move out to a different country, to a different city, and your best friend, uh, you lose contact with your best friend or something. There's some sort of like loss attached to this that is attached to your past life that you need to heal, okay? Because you didn't get to heal it in the previous life. So let's see here what was the big theme for the past life. Let's try and get some information. Forget me not. I feel like you really had a thing with flowers. Maybe you still like picking flowers? It's definitely a habit from um, this previous life. Oh, forget me not in Lupin or Lupin. I never, I never know how to say this card. Um, but let's see here before we talk about that. No, oh, this is too freaking many. And see like how the card just went like, yo, break free, just woo, just release, right? Um, let's see, what is the big theme for this past, for this lifetime? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Start fresh. Definitely. So, again, for example, if it is that thing of parents getting divorced, you have the opportunity to start fresh. You have the opportunity to create a different story for your love life. You know, if your parents have to work five jobs or two, three jobs, let's, let's be real, two, three jobs to support you, support the family and everything, you can create a different story for yourself. You can create something that you're passionate about and still have abundance over it. You know, you can have some, I feel like there's a lot of inner reflection that needs to happen here. A lot of self-discovery that needs to happen. And um, it's almost like your destiny, it's not what matters. It usually isn't. But it, it's, it's re it really is the path to it. Because it's not about accomplishing what you couldn't accomplish here. Uh, not on a destiny level. It's on a soul-searching level. On a path level. Because, and if I'm not wrong... A realization. I actually thought it was the path card. But yeah, realization of all your wounds. Realization of all your limiting beliefs. So when it comes to money, realizing what beliefs you have. Maybe you think that you cannot have money. You cannot be successful if you're doing something that you love. You cannot be successful if you don't work really hard. If you're not a workaholic. You cannot have love because love will always lead to pain. Love will always lead to uh, heartbreak. And it's not worth it. You cannot have love because love is not real. You know, you could have a lot of beliefs around it, whatever it is that I feel like you need to gain awareness of. So then you can actually get into your destiny. And your destiny is like beautiful. It's prosperity. It's the love of your life. It's a family. Um, I feel like all of those things are waiting for you. And... I feel like for the most part, the reading is not going to be too much about what you're meant to experience. I feel like it's going to be about like a wake up call. I feel like the universe is really asking you that. And that's why you need that rest. It's because, again, the universe is trying to get to you, right? But I feel like there's a wake up call for you to breathe and then you can move forward, full charge, and actually achieve these things. Okay? So that is something that is coming up for this lifetime. But when it comes to your past life, 
we have that forgive me not and um, he, so this could have been actually not about a parent or something it could have actually been about a child because with this forgive me not it's a little bit of like empress energy and this here gives me a little bit of hierophant vibes um, Taurus energy so very like Venus energy full of love full of like motherly energy and so the the person you could have lost could have actually been a child and I don't think you ever got over it and maybe you that thing of the flowers that is something that is coming through because then like I mean this whole deck is about flowers but there's so many like flowers here like big important flowers and I feel like you really had a very significant impact on you so maybe you and this your child or you and whoever it was maybe you had this ritual of picking flowers and i feel like you you kept on doing that and if it wasn't about picking flowers maybe i feel like you had a ritual you had a habit with that person that you never really stopped doing even before even after that person um was gone and i feel like you were a wonderful parent i kind of feel like you were a mother I feel like you were a woman here. Um, and I feel like you were so compassionate and you were so caring. And I feel like you were really connected with love. And that is so beautiful. I also feel like you were, um, maybe not with yourself. I actually feel like you were pretty insecure. But I feel like when it comes to others, I feel like you would always be that person that would hype them up. You know, I feel like you, you would be that person that uh, would give them confidence, will give them the strength and the... Um, motivation to keep moving forward and to achieve everything they wanted to achieve and I feel like you never really reached um, too much power or like this whole thing because I feel like you didn't thought that that was possible for you and I kind of feel like that is still something that is stuck with you that I feel like you may think that oh prosperity is not for me love family is not for me and I do feel like it's because of this past life. So let's see here. What were your patterns that are still stuck with you from this past life? Mm -hmm. And what were the cycles that we didn't break and we are supposed to break in this lifetime? Yeah, um, starting here with the, they're pretty similar, but I feel like this one cycle is more specific, where that thing of you were always there for others, you would always hype them up and everything, and I feel like you didn't hype yourself up, and so I really feel like that is a cycle here to break, the cycle of always being there for others and always doing and supporting and, you know, helping and not helping yourself, so I really feel like, again, rest right but self-care self-worth self-love self-beliefs right i feel like you need to kind of start journaling i feel like that could be very important for you and we already got that uh intuitive writing thing i feel like it could be very important for you to kind of let the emotions out to feel the emotions to because i feel like you may tend to avoid them and the same thing you did here right with that grief i feel like um you you tend to get up and that is actually a pattern that is showing up here it's like let's get up and go towards the next thing let's just let's keep walking let's keep moving oh everything's fine you know and i feel like again with this four of wands like oh everything's stable everything's okay and it's actually not and i feel like that is something that you need to um be kinder to yourself about is that it's okay not to be okay and oh, I don't know if you noticed, but that, that candle flame was just like, was kind of nodding and <laughs> confirming, was shaking a little bit, saying, yeah, that is true. Um, but I really feel like you need to be compassionate with yourself. Feel all your emotions. I feel like it's really overwhelming. I feel like it's, it can't even be painful, but I feel like that's what you need. And also know that there are people around you. Know that you can count on other people and that those people you support, those people you help, they can actually help you. And I feel like it would be really nice to open up to someone. And you can only do this by stepping out of your comfort zone. 
because, and that's actually something that I struggle with as well. Uh, me, especially being a Capricorn moon, <laughs> everything related with emotion, right? Uh, I tend to really not want to share. I tend to hold it on in, but that is something that I need to work on. And so even when I don't want to, or when I feel scared of doing that and asking for advice, that's something that I really struggle with. I push myself to do so. And most of the times it feels really good after it. Okay. Cause you feel the support. And even though the, those people may tell you the things that you were already thinking about, it feels good. So step a little bit out of that bubble, protective bubble, and ask for help. Let others help you, okay? I feel like it would really be good for you. And know that it's okay not to be okay. I know I keep saying this, but I feel like someone out there really needs to listen to that. And you don't have to smile all the time. Okay? Not every day is gorgeous. Not every day is just like weather right? Not every day is sunny. Some days are raining and with storms and whatever. It's about embracing it. Embrace your emotions, okay? So let's get here into career and let's see what were the talents you had, the skills you had, what did you learn that are helping you now? Oops, come here. Page of Cups. I do feel like it's about being a mother. <laughs> that's so interesting that that's showing up in the career. Um, in the career section here. Fairy Ring. That's so interesting. Okay, what is your destiny here? What is your purpose? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Don't do stuff just because they bring you money. They're not going to bring you the money that you actually are able to have. Because you could even be in this really high-ranking place, corporate job that pays really, really well. I'm here to tell you, you can have 10 times what you make if you follow your heart. And I feel like you're doing something out of beliefs. Out of, oh, but following my heart is not going to bring me abundance. It actually is. It actually is. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm a big apologist of that. Uh, I mean, I tell that all the time. That when you're happy, when you're doing something that happy, money will follow. Abundance will follow. Prosperity will follow. But in this case, it's like it's a specific message for you. It's like, bro, quit the job. <laughs> I mean... Don't quit the job if you don't feel like it's the time yet, if you don't know what you need to do, if you don't have like a solid plan, uh, or if you don't have like a way to support yourself in the meantime. But quit the job. <laughs> but like go towards a side hustle, start building it, start creating the life of your dreams. A lot of it, again, comes from mindsets. More than quitting the job is quit the limiting beliefs, quit the things you believe are true start reprogramming your mind something that really helped me and that i feel like it's making such a huge difference in my life was i was reading this book by jen sincero you're a badass and she has this money section in it and she um suggests this exercise which is like you write a list of your beliefs or you could even buy like a, a letter to yourself or something about your beliefs around money and then you go take each one of those beliefs and you find arguments, you find facts that have already happened in your life that um, kind of refute that belief. And then you make an affirmation that matches what a beautiful and healthy relationship with money looks like. So for example, you have this belief that uh, you cannot have money, you cannot make money when you're doing something that you love. Let's find something. Let's find something. When was a moment where you learned money and you were actually not doing something that you hated? You were actually just like chilling or you were like actually doing something that you loved. What about birthdays? Like that is the easiest way. Even if like uh, I cannot make money without hard work. What about birthdays? 
whenever someone gifts you something, whenever you get, uh, I don't know, whenever you get a coupon on the grocery store, that's money. That's abundance. And you didn't have to work hard for it. You didn't have to not love it, right? We all love saving. We all love food and everything, I hope. And you receive money from it, right? So, and then you go and rewrite that affirmation and you say something like, I make money doing something that I love. I am able to make money doing something I love. I am able to do money, make money without effort. Money just shows up in my life like that. And you repeat your, yourself that, uh, you repeat that to yourself, grammar. Uh, you repeat that to yourself constantly. I usually do it like first thing in the morning, last thing at night. And that has been helping me so much. And so it could really help you too because I feel like you have many beliefs around money that are not true. And I feel like you are doing something that doesn't bring you balance or it doesn't bring you the balance that you think it does. Okay? Because yeah, it could bring you good money. It's not going to bring you stability in the long run. It's not going to bring you happiness in the long run, okay? And one thing that really, um, that you've learned from the past life with this page of cups and the fairy ring was that because you were such a good mother, uh, I feel like you knew what is good and what wasn't, you know? I feel like you also motivated your children to be imaginative, to be creative. And that is something that I don't think you're using, so use that in your advantage, okay? So we have here the void. Yeah, I feel like you really told your kids like, oh, but everything is possible. Just dream it and you can achieve it. You know, I feel like we're kind of a pep talker. <laughs> and we also have acceptance. Embrace who you are. Let's get one more. Patience, yeah. It's not about hard work. It usually is not. It's about patience. And I feel like people tend to, um, of course you need to work on the things that you love. But most of the times, it's not about working harder. It's about having the patience for things to grow. Because like when you're taking care of a plant, you don't work harder. You don't put even more water or you don't force the plant to grow. It's patience for the plant to grow. You take care of it. You do what's necessary. And then you let it grow. And that is the same thing with your career. Okay? So embrace your path. Embrace who you are. Embrace the things that you want to create. Okay? So let's see here. Next step, what is the advice? Can we get one more? Okay, I guess not. That's it. Um, so we do have love. Love people, love them with all your heart. Just be sure to love yourself first. And I feel like there's a little bit of expectations and other people's expectations. Just love everyone and love yourself. Do what you love, okay? And make yourself happy. I feel like you really deserve that, okay? And you can really have that. You also have surprise. Release your expectations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Release your expectations and be open to surprise. And <clears throat> we have move. A long walk is good for the soul. Get outside and allow Mother Nature to lift your spirits. Rest, right? Rest. So again, I really feel like you need a little vacation here to kind of find yourself again and find your way to remember the things you want to do, <clears throat> okay? And to speak your truth. You're not speaking your truth. My throat is going all nuts. You're not speaking your truth, even to yourself. Alrighty, well, let's look here into love and let's see what happened. What were the cycles? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, man, and look at that Four of Cups. I really feel like you lost someone here. And I've, again, I feel like it was a really beautiful relationship. I feel like what was left, so for example, if it was your husband or your wife, you know, maybe you weren't a mother, you were a, a father, but you really had like this motherly nature to you. Um, whoever left, whoever possibly passed away, um, what was left of it, the children that were left of it, 
the family that was left, it was so beautiful. But I feel like you never really got over it. And I feel like you just didn't... It was beautiful, but it wasn't enough because it, it, you didn't have that person anymore. And I feel like you had to carry that baggage with you for the rest of your life. And I really, I, I feel like it really, really hurt. I really feel like it did. Oh, and I'm just, I've been using Z for so long. So long, well, for a little while. But uh, I just noticed now, like, you have all these beautiful 10 cups here, 10 flowers, and you have a beautiful new one starting to rise there and I I even feel like you know, man I don't know there's just something here about plants about flowers specifically so yeah maybe you planted a flower uh in honor of that person um but there is definitely like beautiful love all around you and it could have been like a kid because it's like it's a little baby flower so yeah Oh man, let's see your destiny this lifetime though, and what you're supposed to experience here. King of Wands, ooh the energy, hmm, yeah, bro, I feel like the lack of, um, motivation and the lack of life uh you fell here and like something was missing and that you lost someone you really loved and everything i feel like that inspiration and that all that fieriness there it's with someone i kind of feel like for most of you who have already met this person possibly a fire sign here aries leo's hat uh i'm hearing leo specifically but i feel like someone awakens a wild side of you are you doing anything about it? I don't think you are. I actually feel like you're resisting it like hell. Uh, seven of Wands, Eight of Cups, you may have walked away from this person, um, but it's like you're really resisting this. It could be love overall, but I feel like you're avoiding love. I do, but I, I, ah, I just feel like there's someone here that just, it's not really about like getting into your nerves, but they just, they mess with you. They, they they cook something up in you and I don't think you're ready for that ready in the sense of I don't think we're expecting it I don't think you I don't know I think you're a little bit afraid a little bit scared of getting hurt and again it can line up with that thing of maybe your parents got divorced or something and where you have this belief of like love doesn't last and that is not true. That is not true. So again, you can do this exercise with love and find a role model. I don't know, maybe your grandparents, they had this love, beautiful love, until the day they died or something. Try to find a role model, even in celebrities or something, that they are just... Or, or even cartoons. I don't know why that is coming up. Maybe someone really likes cartoons or something. But go towards Disney, find a Pixar movie, and get inspired. Let yourself fall in love with love. Because I really feel like there is someone here that is so worth it. There is someone here that really moves with you, and they are definitely worth it. Let's get some more information. I usually don't do this, so you're special. <laughs> well, let's get here some information. Ooh. Empty Cottage, yeah, that's all about fear. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Page of Swords. I feel like things never really got to this expansion place. I feel like you could have started with this person. The attraction is there a hundred percent. I feel like you never let yourself really open up. The other person could have been doing the same, totally. Um, but I feel like from your side at least, uh, you were never letting yourself open up. I feel like you were always kind of hiding yourself a little bit. You didn't want to... Um, let this person in too closely and it was for you to keep your independence for you to keep your stability and everything and i feel like this person was so freaking hot this person was so and i feel like it was even harder sun leo energy 100 percent. i feel like this person was even harder because they knew they were hot 
because they were confident, they were independent, they kind of, they loved themselves. Um, so let's see here what we have. Uh, we have release 100% for the past life, so there's nothing. I feel like you, you never really got to heal that. And now we have blossoming and surrender. Surrender to love, okay? And let this beautiful relationship blossom. Because this is so freaking good. My God. This is so freaking good. And if you haven't met anyone, if you haven't been talking to anyone, someone is coming up in your life pretty soon. It could even happen in like seven days. I was going to say five days. Um, but like within five of, there we go, five days. Maybe it's five days. Um, this person could be showing up. I don't think it's for everyone. For others of you, it may take a little bit longer. But yeah. Oh, five days to seven weeks. Okay. That's what it is. So let's get here some next step advice. Oh yeah, 100%. Look at that. Elevate. You get what you do, you believe you deserve. It's time to raise your standards. Just because your parents or whatever it was um, didn't get the happiness, <laughs> didn't get the love that they could have had, doesn't mean that you cannot have it. Okay, so raise your standards. You deserve the best. You can have it. We also have beauty. Today you are a curator of beauty. You are blessed with moments that let you know beyond a shadow of doubt that all is well in the world. So there's a thing of like looking at the sky and seeing beauty. And we also have priorities. The quality of your life is determined by how you spend your time. Make sure your schedule reflects the life you want. I feel like there's one more. There we go. Surrender. Stop trying to control life. It gets in the way of divine intervention. And with this little angel, I feel like it's the person you lost. It's actually with you. Uh, especially if it was a kid. I feel like that soul is really trying to get you to move. So hopefully they can incarnate in this lifetime and have a longer life. You know, something like that. If it's not meant for them to incarnate, then they will definitely be guiding you through this whole life. But yeah. And with this priorities here, make time for love. Okay? So go out and have fun. Make sure you're connecting with people. Okay? That you're letting people in. Love is waiting for you. So let's pull some final messages and advice. The courage is peony. Uh, multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. And there we go with more freaking flowers. Earthed, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. So there's that thing of putting yourself in the place of healing, putting yourself in the place of feeling your emotions, letting yourself out of your comfort zone, and letting yourself be authentic, okay? Anything else? Wait, it's not yet time. Things are being woven. So yeah, for some of you, maybe you haven't met this person. Uh, or you have met someone that kind of lights you up and just gave you that little hint of inspiration for you to get back into love. And it doesn't really mean that you have to get back to that person or try to grow things with that person. But it maybe was the inspiration you needed for you to get back to love, okay? Um, you take it however resonates. But karmic relationships, organ energy, polarity, soul growth, and conflict. It's time to really heal yourself, the relationship you have with yourself, and the relationship you have with your dreams and with your heart, okay? So, down I guess this is what I have for you, baby. I hope it resonated. hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested in diving a little deeper, the link is going to be down below, as always. And I will see you in the next one. I love you very much. Bye-bye.